Hello everyone, Ramya, Assistant Professor of CSE Department from Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. Subject code CS3452, Theory of Computation, Unit 1, Topic, Finite Automata. Objectives are to understand the concepts of finite automata, to analyze the types of finite automata problems. Finite Automata Finite Automata are used to recognize patterns. It takes the string of symbol as input and change its state accordingly. The desired symbol is found, then the transition occurs. At the time of transition, here the automata can either move to the next state or stay in the same state. Here the finite automata have two states, a substate or reject state. That means when the input string is processed successfully, then the automata reaches its final state. Then only it will be accepted as a, a substate. Now we are going to see the formal definition of finite automata. It is a collection of five tuples Q, Sigma, Do, Q0, F. Here Q represents the finite set of states. Sigma is a finite set of the input symbol. Q0 is a initial state. F is a final state. Do is a transition function. Next we are going to see the finite automata model. That means it can be represented by input tape and finite control. Here in this diagram first we are going to see the input tape. That means it is a linear tape having some number of symbols. Each input symbol is placed in each cell. Then next we are going to see the finite control. The finite control means it decides the next state on receiving particular input from input tape. Here it treats the cells one by one from left to right and at a time only one input symbol is read. Next we are going to see different types of automata. There are two types of automata, deterministic finite automata and non-deterministic finite automata. Deterministic finite automata means it refers to the uniqueness of the computation in the TFA. Here the machine goes to one state one fluid for a particular input character. It will not accept any null move. Then we are going to see the NFA that means non-deterministic finite automata. It is used to transmit any number of states for a particular input. It can accept the null move. Next we are going to see some important points about deterministic finite automata and non-deterministic finite automata. The first point every DFA is NFA but NFA is not DFA. The next one there can be a multiple finite states in both NFA and DFA. DFA is used in lexical analysis in compiler. NFA is more of a theoretical concept. Next we are going to see the transition diagram. Here the transition diagram also called a state transition diagram. It is a director graph which can be constructed. That means it has some points. According to the points only we have to construct the transition diagram. There is a mode of each state in Q which is represented by the circle. There is a directed edge from node Q to node P labeled A if do of Q comma A equal to P. Here the Q and P is represented as the states. A is represented as input. That means from one state to another state what input is there. In the st start state there is an arrow with no source. Accepting states or final states are indicating by a double circle. Here the diagram shows some notations that are used in the transition diagram. Next we are going to see one example for the transition diagram. DFA with sigma equal to 0, 1 accepts all strings starting with 1. That means first you have to draw the transition diagram for the given input string. The given input strings are 0 and 1. It can be represented by a transition diagram. In the above diagram the machine initially it is a start state. Q0 and then receiving input 1 the machine changes to the state Q1. From Q0 on receiving 0 the machine changes its state to Q2. Likewise each and every state what are the input going from one state to another state it will check. The possible input strings can be generated are 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 etc. That means all strings starts with 1. Next we are going to see the transition table. It is represented by a tabular representation of the transition function. It takes two arguments a state and a next state. A transition table is represented by the following things here. The column correspond to input symbols, rows correspond to states, entries correspond to the next state. The start state is denoted by an arrow with a no source. Here the accept state is denoted by a star. Now we are going to see one example for the transition table. For the given transition diagram, from the given transition diagram, you are going to draw one transition table. Here the input strings are considered as zeros and 1. So from the table, the first column indicates all the current states under column 0 and 1. The next states are shown. 
the first row of the transition table can be read as then the current state is q0 on input 0 the next state will be q1 and on input 1 the next state will be q2 likewise in the second row when the current state is q1 on input 0 the next state will be q0 and on one input the next state will be q2 for likewise for the third row also when the current state is q2 on input 0 the next state will be q2 and on one input the next state will be q2 likewise each and every states what are the input given you have to mark in the tabular column thank you